Welcome to Channel of Resolves. I'm Country Pride, and it's the weekend, guys. Let's take a break from Ranked and go do some of that silly stuff. We have Boros Transformers and some chaotic transformation. Let's take a look. All right, guys, I know it's not best of three, but we're still only going to highlight a couple of cards here at the deck list intro so you guys can get to the gameplay. We won some, we lost some. I think you guys get three games in this. We did get to do the thing with the thing, so that's really all I wanted to showcase in this. But I do want to highlight a couple of cards. We'll cover the deck list more at the end of the video, and if you stick around for that, I truly appreciate it. And if you would, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We have a 10,000 uh, sub giveaway coming up where we're doing a lot of giveaways. Uh, you can check out the video on that. Kevin's put it out there. But uh, yeah, man, we'd love to have you guys on board. And of course, we do our live streams uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays from noon to 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then we usually have videos every day of the week. Now, it's a little stagnant right now. We've been missing some days, but we're getting ready for all is one or all will be one. And um, of course, we've just got a lot of stuff in the works. So we've got the return of the podcast. We've got some other things in the back burner that we're th uh, hashing out. So I hope you guys truly enjoy it. And uh, yeah, if you guys got any ideas, definitely let us know in the comments below but let's hop into this and highlight a couple of cards so the ones that we really want to look at are chaotic transformation it's uh five colorless one red it's a sorcery exile up to one target artifact up to one target creature up to one target enchantment up to one target planeswalker and or up to one target land for each permanent exile this way its controller reveals cards from the top of the library until the uh, reveal card that shares the card type with it and you put that card out of the battlefield and then you shuffle Oof. gotta read that one <laughs> okay so here's the thing we don't run any planeswalkers in this package you could definitely put something like an emperor in this package um and that's really the only one that i think that i would actually add into this uh, I don't really see much need for an Elspeth. Um, Emperor would work well, but uh, and in red, I don't think we've got a lot of choices. And since we're staying red and white, except for if you guys can see in the background, the Titan of Industry. But it's not Naya. We don't run any way to cast this other than our treasure tokens. So we're usually putting this in the graveyard or we're searching it up with our creature tokens that we use off of chaotic transformation. But that segues right into Titan of Industry. Titan of Industry is our creature of choice in this package. It's four colorless, three green. It's a seven, seven reach trample. By now, everybody knows what this thing does, but I'm going to go ahead and read it anyway, since we're highlighting the card. When it enters the battlefield, we get to choose two of the following four. We destroy target artifact or enchantment. Target player gains five life, create a four, four green rhino warrior creature token, or put a shield counter on a creature you control. So yeah, Titan of Industry is a beast of a creature to have into this package, especially with a lot of the uh, packages that you're running into nowadays. You usually have something that you can destroy with the artifact or the enchantment, but you also have the option of going wide with the 4-4. Four, four. You have some life gain there with the 5 life, and you could also just put a shield counter on the Titan of Industry. The really cool thing about this is, is if it's not exiled, you can actually bring this thing back with Portal of Phyrexia if it does get killed. And then you just get more triggers off of it. So your opponent's more likely to try to find a way to exile if they've got it. And if not, they usually just concede. Now, we do have some smaller enchantments in this one with like Wedding Announcement and Fable of the Mirror Breaker. But the one enchantment we're really looking to try and hit out of our package is Arcane Bombardment. Now, T. Stokes can appreciate this card. So that's why we kind of threw it in there. But Arcane Bombardment is four colorless, two red. It's an enchantment. It's an obsession to some. It's fun for others. <laughs> and with that... This enchantment, whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell each turn, exile an instant or sorcery card at random from your graveyard, and then copy each card exiled with Arcane Bombardment. Um, you may cast any number of the copies without paying for their mana cost. Now, this works really well with our package because we could get Chaotic Transformation right back into Arcane Bombardment. Um, we can get Big Score. We can get Burn Down the House. We can get Brotherhood's End. We can get Faithful Absence. We've got cards that we can utilize. We even have Union of the Third Path and Sunset Revelry. Now, Sunset Revelry may not hit really well with Arcane Bombardment, so you may want to switch that up with what we're utilizing, maybe like a Thrill of Discovery or anything like that with some extra card draw that you could get, or maybe the like a i don't know even maybe like a play with fire or something for early removal there's a lot of things that you could utilize in here and you could switch out it's just to whatever it is to your liking 
But uh, Arcane Bombardment works really well with this. We did get it off a couple of times. I believe we got it off a couple of times in the game that we actually lost. But we still got to do the thing with the thing. And it was a lot of fun because we haven't played with Arcane Bombardment in a while. Now, the last thing that we want to highlight here before we jump into the gameplay is Portal of Phyrexia. I absolutely love this card. I wish it wasn't nine cost, but there's so many ways to get this thing out of the graveyard right now. But with Chaotic Transformation, this is what is hitting out of our deck list because it's the only artifact that we've got. And we're getting tokens from either our Shaman or our Big Score, and then we just um, sacrifice one of our to uh, treasure tokens to chaotic transformation and it's an automatic hit for portal of phyrexia so it's like a board wipe on on a stick for us with a uh, chaotic transformation and then of course portal of phyrexia gets to bring back a creature from either graveyard at the beginning of your uh upkeep so with that portal of phyrexia nine colorless when portal of phyrexia enters the battlefield each opponent sacrifices three creatures at the beginning of your upkeep Put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. It's a Phyrexian in addition to its other types. So that is the package for the most part. What we want to highlight, folks, with that, I'm going to let you guys get to the gameplay. Again, at the end of the video, we'll cover over the deck list more and what I thought and maybe add some cards into the sideboard just as possibilities that you could utilize if you wanted to swap some stuff out. But uh, yeah, there it is. It's really, really uh, versatile. You can change up the color scheme. You could make this Jeskai. You could make this Naya. Um, I could see a lot of things with this. I just hadn't played with Chaotic Transformation before, so I definitely wanted to give it a shot. And I haven't used Arcane Bombardment in forever. And one of our uh, loyal, most, 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 most loyal viewers from the old channel to the new uh, absolutely loves the card. So I thought it would be a lot of fun going into the weekend, just trying some jank, trying some combos, taking it off a of rank, and just having fun with the game again. So with that, guys. I'm going to go ahead and quit rattling on. I'm going to let you guys get to the gameplay again. If you would, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We truly appreciate it. And with that, stay safe, be happy, and healthy. Much love. We hope to see you at the end. Peace. Hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great weekend. All right. Let's hop into this game. See how this does, man. I've been wanting to mess around with Chaotic Transformation. Um, just never really focused on it. But it does look like a lot of fun if it hits. Uh, yeah, we'll keep... We are playing non-ranked. We're still playing ranked, best of three. But to try this out, we're definitely gonna play non-ranked. So if they're mono black, that's fine. We don't have to worry about the counters. I do have to remove, uh, deal with some spot removal and stuff. Maybe they want a card draw first. Something suspicious is going on. Sure. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit extreme, but whatever. Uh yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of her. Holding five, we're holding four. I think we'll wait and see if they drop any creatures. What we'll probably do is big score this next turn around on their turn. I wish Sunset Revelry was an instant, it would make it amazing. Okay. Hopefully Kiki Jiki lives. Nothing Kiki Jiki's not gonna live. Free. Uh Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. If we get a land off the top, then we can play one of these Sunset Rovers into the uh, Chaotic Transformation. We did not. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Shieldred and knock Soren down. Man, is that how we want to do it? I think so. Yeah. We can do it again on the next turn if we absolutely have to. Uh, we're going to hold here. Sure. My way. Yeah, I was really hoping they'd play a creature. There we go. All right. So, we do two. That still just leaves us five. Man. We're just right out of it. That puts us in it. Um, yeah, we'll hold here. We could burn down on the next one, but I think we'll be fine if we do the chaotic transformation. We'll get, I think, a Titan Nothing on and free. the portal. So they're going to come in with Bank Buster? Sure. May as well let Evolve Sleeper do its thing. Yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. All right. I think we take the free crack at um, Soren. I think the only thing that's holding up is the uh, investigation token the sleeper. We'll have to wait and see. Man, I don't know that this is the right call. Feels good though. Uh, sacrifice this. This. Zero. Zero. Mm. No real need to. Zero. Alright, so let's go ahead and game five and um, let's put a shield counter on Titan. Oh, wait. Yeah. From here, we could actually use Burn Down the House to take out pretty much everything. I mean, they can do that with Invoke Despair, but we're going to get it right back. Put a shield counter on it again. Oh, no, we're not going to get it right back. That's good, man. They did good. Still gonna use uh, burn down the house. Yep, it's fine. Sure. Uh, let's go, Shieldred. Do this to gain a little bit of cards and life. Uh, go ahead and I was gonna say drop wedding announcement, but I think we we're in a pretty good run. <laughs> All right, GG's. Yeah, it worked really good, man. Chaotic transformation. Who knew? All right, GG's. 
All right, so on this one, uh, opponent goes first and we're on the draw. I don't mind it. I mean, we can set up wedding announcement. We're pretty close to burning down the house. We have a big score. We just got to hit our lands really well. And uh, maybe some early removal. Kind of depends how fast out the gate the uh, opponent goes. Yeah, we'll keep it, man. And for those of you still watching, truly appreciate it. Hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. We've got uh, NFL playoffs championships tomorrow looking forward to it did not want to pull titan of industry it's fine i guess so they're playing azorius i wonder if they're just playing azorius counters control and non-ranked sounds boring but it's gonna happen yeah Sure. So what are they like an Urza meld deck? I don't know. Let's go ahead and let them keep controlling. Sure. They're eventually gonna run out of cards. We have burned down the house. We also have Titan of Industry, so if they do drop, yeah, let's see. If we can get our fifth land off the top here, then we take care of this mess right now. Yeah. There we go. Alright. It's fun seeing it to ferry. No setbacks next time. Sure. Alright. Let's uh let's try big score now. I mean, I don't see any reason not to. I know they've got three open, but if we leave them with six open, who knows if they're just holding like a devious cover up. I'm guessing it's more counters though. Uh, let's go with Brotherhood's End. Oh no, they don't. Okay. They had nothing. That's always nice. Um. Well, I mean, since we know that, let's go ahead and go here too. Mm, let's put Titan. They might be holding a farewell. They might be a farewell deck. I guess they're, they, yeah, they might really be a farewell deck. All right, so. Since we're not running into chaotic transformation, maybe we go, let's see if they're gonna counter this. Okay, they didn't. Um, let's go ahead and go here and see if they counter that for the card draw. It's literally just for the card draw. We could have waited one more turn. Okay, that's nice. Uh, we could have waited one more turn for a restoration to flip and then play sunset, but this is fine. God, man, I really want Chaotic Transformation to hit. So I'm really hoping they just play out cards here. Like, maybe they're losing patience and they just get a little over aggressive. They did not. So since we've got two bombardments, I think I'm gonna try and play one. Oh, shnikes. Did not expect that to land. What do I do? They gotta be. If they're holding farewell, they gotta be thinking farewell. still gonna let this go just in case if it's not a farewell yeah maybe with their board populated they want to hold on to it but if they don't have any counters and all they're holding is a farewell I would imagine they would use it here it sucks man it sucks so cheap uh, let's go ahead and get these guys on the board 
a two drop counter. Might have a two, two point removal, maybe like a fading hope or a fateful absence. I don't know what they're holding for two. They're playing some of the most boring crap ever in non-ranked, man. In non-ranked. This is non-ranked. Ugh. Okay. Let's keep going. I mean, if you counter it, you counter it, bro. There's the possibility of a destroy evil. They're really just trying to get card draw going here. Um, I don't want to use chaotic transformation because bombardment's what I want. This is just not. It's kind of like running into a brick wall. Death by Dirtle. Okay. Sure. Works for me, bruh. They got farewell. They're definitely gonna light it up here. They don't want uh, burn down the house, take it off. I could use chaotic transformation. The only thing I would really want out of it right now is maybe the Titan of Industry. But other than that, I can't think of too many other things that I would want. Um, but I do like that. I like that option. Oh man. Give me chaotic transformation. <laughs> Give me chaotic transformation. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll still do it. Uh, zero. We'll take this one. Uh, zero. <laughs> zero. Zero. Uh, yeah. We'll go to three more. Why not? Sure. Uh, let's gain, uh, yeah, let's gain five life and blow up their, uh, stuff here. They might, yeah, they got their collapse since they're fine. Man, I wish we had the artifacts on the ground. Hopefully we pull something good off a big score so we can use it, uh, as an instant. We did not. <laughs> we did not. <laughs> Let's pop this bad boy. See if we get anything. Come on, man. Give me another big score. Give me something I can use on their turn. I need an instant. That'll work. Uh, yeah. Well, they have something in hand besides anger. <laughs> All right, I'm really glad that this turned out this way because it could have been so bad. It still could be bad. They could be holding like a farewell. That's fine. Not really, but it's fine. Whatever. All right. Uh, yeah, no. We'll end the turn, pass it to them. We're waiting for them to do something. Let's go ahead and blow this up. Uh, resolve. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Let's go. Uh, we'll take that artifact. We'll take this one. Uh, we'll leave the enchantment. We'll submit zero. Um, yeah, let's go find a land. Why not?
land. Oh man, we got no more creatures. Dang it. Okay. We're not gonna be, we're not gonna be able to target there. <laughs> Spirited companion, so I don't think they get a token. I don't know, man. If they got faithful apps or if they got farewell, it's fine. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, we'll pass. But I had fun. They're just boring the hell out of me, but I had fun. Lots. Of fun. Heck yeah. Get that Sarah Paragon. Get that Sarah pair gone. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll take the Spirit Companion. Why not? Get some card draw. Sure. Come on, don't hit just lands. Oh my gosh. I knew it was going to do that. Okay. So we are kind of in a race. That's fine. We'll keep blowing up their... Uh, they can either block, and we can just keep blowing up their Sarah Paragon, or their uh, Spirited Companions. Or... Sure. Are you going to block three? Block three. Please block three. I'll take another Spirited Companion. I really want you to block three, though. Um, yeah, no, I don't want them to have a spirit companion. <laughs> I don't want them to have one. I want one. Brother, come on. Nice. That's nice, man. That's nice. I love all seeing Arbiter. So nice. Heck yeah. It's a good one, man. Come on, Jay Dragon Blue. Um, no blocks. They might fare well here. They might. I doubt it, but they might. I mean, they're on death's door if they don't. And they did. What kind of shisty stuff was that, man? Okay. That was so bad. I think that was our whole deck. <laughs> I don't know that we got any way to win this. Okay. Um, might have. Depends if they got a counter. I mean, if they got a counter, they got a counter. Yeah. That's Azorius for you, man. It's news alert. Sure. We'll let it go. something let's get the card draw yeah that is not the card I wanted to draw this turn I shouldn't have played that land that's what I should have done um bro Uh, we'll decline. Let's 
go here, see if we can get away with it, see if we got any way of removing that thing. Unless they've just got a way to bounce. Um, which is possible. It's all possible. They've got something with flash. They do have bounce. Mm hmm. Sure. Go find something. Got to find something. That's a good something, man. Let me tell you what. find something that can help us hit some of this stuff they're gonna start searching for <clears throat> yeah oh my god okay <laughs> so, so we just got we just got smashed yeah cool yeah that's value town right there all right good game good game Hmm. We can come in with it, unearthed, hit for eight, destroy wedding announcement. They could, I mean, okay, they're just playing. All right, good game. Okay, man, it was straight value for them. Uh, I had a blast, so <laughs> I had a blast with it. Even though we lost, I had a blast with it. All right, we are on the draw, uh, or I'm sorry, we're on the play. <laughs> man, I just had one of the longest matches ever in my life. I'm not even gonna include it in this recording. That's how boring it was. I felt like I was in a tournament. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this for openers. Let's see where this can go. Let's see what we're playing against. Oh, we're playing against bullshit. Should have stopped at their upkeep. Because they're going to get this anyways. Yeah. Probably gonna get rid of Sunset Revelry and uh, Crucible. I mean, I, it depends on what we draw to. Do they have Destroy Evil, man? If so, that would suck. Borrowed Time would suck too. We really need to cycle off that level too. Damn it! Okay. Sure. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, 
let's go here. Let's go ahead and get these guys online. Cause uh Yeah. We need them. Uh they're spirit token creatures. I need the artifact off of this one though. And then next turn we can do chaotic transformation. Man, I wish we had an enchantment. That would be great. Um, we'll end. We're not getting rid of the uh, token. The token's going to be the portal. We will get Kiki Jiki back because Titan will come down and I will blow that borrowed time right out of the water. Unless they throw down Haunting. And then we got to kind of kill Haunting. Sure. Awesome. All right, so it's interesting. I Man, I really do. I, I wish we had an enchantment for this. Damn it. It's fine though. Artifact, creature. Uh. No enchantment. No planeswalker. Um, land. Just put a shield counter. So, uh, the enchantment. The creature. Hmm. No attacks. We'll wait. Depending on how they play this, we might use Brotherhoods in. Um, they may also have a way of like an exile effect on Titan of Industry again. So, yay, fun. Not really. We'll have to wait and see. Circle of confinement on my shaman. You're a monster. Um. Hmm. I mean, I like Weaver. Can't really do anything with it, but let's go ahead and go here. That's fine. I think we're going to let this rip. Let's let it rip. Because if they block up, it really does nothing for us. If they find a way to get rid of Titan, I mean, that's fine. Mm, we'll end turn there. Depending on what the next card is we draw, that's probably the card we're going to get rid of big score with. So I probably should have played out Fable there, but I don't really think I wanted to. Um, let's go ahead and take the life linker. Mm. That is interesting. Well, I mean, honestly, I think we do this. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We have an enchantment on the field with Kiki Jiki. Um, yeah, we'll push through for another attack. Why not? If they want to attack into us, that's fine. We can block up with Naturalist. Okay, see, we were going to get another portal. We were going to get another Titan. And we were going to get Arcane Bombardment on the next one. So, yeah, definitely. But, uh, hey, GG's and chance. GG's.
All right, guys, there you go. There was the gameplay. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And if you stuck around to this long, again, if you would hit that like, that thumbs up, the subscribe, all that, uh, it truly helps out the channel. Free ways to help out. We truly appreciate it and love to have you guys on board. All right, so hopping into this deck list to get through it real quick. We do have some removal tools right here at the beginning. We've got Faithful Absences. We've got Brotherhood's Ends. We have Burned Down the House. Now, Burning Down the House is kind of a 2-4 because you can do 5 damage to all Planeswalkers and all creatures on the board as a sweeper, or you can utilize it by dropping the 3 Red Devil tokens on the board as well. Um, we have some card draw going on, and I put everything pretty much over here in the card draw option because that's kind of what we're utilizing it for. We use Fable of the Mirror Breaker for level 2 to get to the card draw. We are using the Shaman to try and get our treasure token out, but more often than not, the Shaman gets killed. Opponents know not to let you ramp. So we're more or less relying on the treasure tokens from Big Score to make sure we hit an artifact for Chaotic Transformation. Um, wedding announcement, we usually don't attack him with one. We're waiting until we can attack him with two so we can at least get a little bit of card draw off a wedding announcement. If we got other creatures on the board, then we can kind of speed that up and get a couple of card draws off of this before it flips. Uh, we have Union of the Third Party, which is a nice little life gain touch. So this may be actually something that you want to utilize instead of Sunset Revelry, but Sunset Revelry gave us our tokens. And that's kind of what we needed a lot of points with Chaotic Transformation to get Titan of industry out so sunset revelry does have place has its place but if you want to drop it down to two and take a uh, union of the third path to four i would definitely think about it uh if i move forward with this i was just kind of playing it for fun but if i move forward with it i would probably put in a fourth union of the third path in here just for the life gain to help us kind of stall out the opponent until we can get into our chaotic transformations uh, Chaotic Transformation is the name of the game with this deck list. It's just for fun. It's kind of to do some stupid stuff and stupid stuff it does because here's your stupid stuff. You have Arcane Bombardment, you have Titan of Industry, and you've got Portal for Axiom. And if they hit like that and you don't accidentally hit, you know, Fable or Wedding Announcement, then it's pretty much game over, guys. Uh, there's, there's no, there's no, there's nothing else to debate there. Uh, if, if somebody landed a portal of Phyrexia and Arcane Bombardment and a Titan of Industry on me with a six cost card and somehow had to wait to back it up to get to Arcane Bombardment to kick off again with like another big score or Union of the Third Path or even a Faithful Absence. Um, yeah, it's hard to come back from that. It really is. However, you saw in that second game, that player was playing Azorius Control, uh, on the non rank ladder. Yay, fun. Uh, but they had a couple of farewells and stuff, and then they just started doing the dirtily things that Art Azorius Control does, playing memory deluges and stuff like that. So they did kind of run us out, and it was the perfect matchup to go against us. Uh, we, we got to, uh, trigger off Chaotic Transformation a couple times. But uh, the back and forth, and then they just got the card advantage, and that was it. Um, so this deck doesn't run really well against uh, board state control or heavy control like an Azorius package can be. Um, but yeah, to take it off the non-ranked ladder just to have fun, just for the giggles of it, it's an absolute blast of the deck. So there you guys go, man. That's Boros Transformers. I hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is the NFL uh, championship games for the AFC and the NFC. And if you don't know, you should know. Go Chiefs. All right, guys. With that, stay safe. Be happy and healthy. Much love to you all. Thank you guys for stopping in. I hope you guys are having a great one. Peace. We'll see you next time.